I posted this just two days ago, it's now the uh, 2nd of August, and I said that there'd been wavelengths hit, microwaves, altering the Gulf Stream heat in Australia, and what the IPC said and the um, other scientists that have been looking at the heat in the Gulf Stream around the world that it can cause catastrophic effects in the weather and what we see here now are some of those heating signatures over New Zealand there's the uh, the main one but north of New Zealand and the uh, Pacific South Pacific there was additional heating in the upper atmosphere which caused major effects on the way the climate moved around Australia and also to the west, sorry, to the east of New Zealand. And I'm going to show you now the latest update, the effect that it's had on this particular area two days later. And what you've got here, you've got Australia to the left, which is about 1,500 kilometres wide. So you can imagine the area of this here that they previously heated two days ago and manipulated the winds with the wind profiling and those are things like harp they're actually wind profilers where they can push the atmosphere up for 30 40 50 miles up to 200 miles away from the earth which drags the air in around it and alters it somewhere else and this is what you'll see in Australia in Australia they have had snow and minus degrees and which some people have never even had before in living memory so what, when I put this into motion now you'll see the video what's happening is it's dragging this south altering the Gulf Stream here and it's actually pushing the cold winds from the South Pole up towards Australia just have a look at this okay we'll start this You see that swinging around down and these these spirals that you see going over to the right are totally deliberate it's been pushed down pushed down pushed down but if you look over at Australia there is cold air moving up because if you push it down here something has to give somewhere else and that's exactly what's happening the air is coming up from the South Pole but if you look at the area of square miles of that, that's 1500 um, kilometres across Australia. So let's say there's a thousand miles across Australia. One, two, three miles. You've got 3000 square miles by 2000 square miles. That's, you can calculate that. That's a lot of square miles there. It's probably <laughs> um, a six of the Earth's surface just in one big area here. So my point is that they are bringing in climate change laws, they're trying to get all the nations to agree on massive climate change regulations to people to succumb to the new world order and the carbon tax is already in place so they want to put the final nails in the coffin by the end of the year in December with Obama coming from the States and they're going to bring in some catastrophic events that pushes this in every world ruler's face and say look now you've got to do something because look what's happening to your countries and the weather I'm not saying this lightly because we've been to the conferences we've heard them say that this year is going to be some catastrophic event it's like they knew it was coming they know where when <clears throat> and how it's going to be done so one of the most critical years that we'll ever see in our lives um, to bring in changes that we hope we can stop and prevent <laughs>